while June gets ready, all right, uh, June is uh, today, right? She owns two franchisees and she's, she runs the Mindshams Preschool at Raffles Town Club and Tamasi Club. She is, her background, she's got very strong background in strategic marketing. And also um, she, from that, she's turned into a business owner. I think June, you've got a slide that talk about your career journey, right? Yes. Okay, she's worked at Mars Australia and Singapore, uh, General Mills Singapore, where she transitioned from marketing to consumer insights to head of trade marketing for the, re for the region. And, and her background in analytics, wow. You know, I always marvel at that. She's definitely a very passionate individual. I know that. Even in her manner of speech, she's, you know, you can sense her passion and her energy. Highly resourceful, never a doubt there. And she likes to share her expertise. She's a very, very generous lady. I really have to thank her for, for coming back to this platform. So over to you, June. All right, I'm just going to stop share. And oh yes, I, I didn't mention the topic that you're sharing, but <laughs> please tell, <laughs> please, please tell us. All right. She is basically sharing with us, um, do employers value contract hires? Wow. <laughs> I think very strong there. Okay. Yeah, okay. So let me share my screen. Okay, guys, don't forget menti.com. Yeah, I can see that. Very nice. Okay. So, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome. Welcome to, I don't know whether you're the first time joiner or second time or third time that you find this platform is a very um, engaging and valuable kind of uh, sharing platform for everyone, but I have certainly found it very uh, diverse as well as very, very helpful in terms of your employment opportunities, in, in terms of learning of what type of industries you want to get into, and in terms of different perspectives, whether it's from the owners or whether it's from HR managers or whether from general managers. So it's really a good platform for you to engage and learn and even ask your own questions as well. Okay. So like, thank you, Elaine. Thank you for the lovely introduction. Um, yes, like, like Elaine, I also have had um, a nice sea change. So uh, I went from a corporate world to a business owner. And obviously, I'm sure a lot of you might have known um, what Mindchamps does. So I'm one of the, the franchisees for Mindchamps Preschool. And I currently have two Mindchamps Preschools uh, under my belt. So, okay. So let's go through today's topic, right? So, so who am I? So I'm currently at the Centre Director for Mindchamps Preschool for Raffles Town Club as well as for Thematic Club. Um, I have, so I'm Singaporean, uh, but I grew up in Australia. Uh, my husband and I, we moved back to Singapore about nine years ago and both my children, you know, attend primary school um, around Singapore as a local. Okay. I have had 12 and a half years of uh, marketing and consumer insights um, experience with different um, big multinationals. Uh, the longest serving is about eight and a half years with Mars and then General Mills about three years. Um, then I decided to have a little bit of sea change, um, being a mom, uh, managing my mother needs, uh, work-life balance, etc. as well. Okay. Um, I'm also, a, a, I would say, a little bit accomplished musician. Uh, I'm a little bit of master chef wannabe. Okay. And then I'm a mum of two who's uh, 10 and eight already. So, okay. Fun age. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're very inquisitive still. And I think they still need their mums around. <laughs> yeah, not like mine. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Yes. So, <laughs> yep. So, to, I just want to get to know a little bit, but a bit more about my audience today. Okay, so I'm going to start off with two poll questions. Okay, okay so please help me to answer these questions. How long have you been in the workforce? You can choose either A, one to five years, okay, two, yeah. six to 15, C, 15 to 25, D, 25 plus, or E, you're a new grad. I know, as you, as you were talking, they have already started entering, ah. so they are pretty fast. <laughs> very fast, very fast. Yes. Okay, I see. Majority, so majority of my audience today have already had 15 years of experience. Mm. 
but we've got um not everybody has um voted so uh, we are coming close to around 70% of you have have voted. Okay, so maybe I can uh, just stop the poll here and share the result. Okay, let me share the result. That's what you see on screen. Everybody's seeing this. Wow. So I would say if you look, if I'm you know being analytical, majority of my audience today have 15 years, more than 15 years of experience. Right, so you guys would have had couple, several jobs around, and you would have been or even tried different industries as well. Am I am I correct? So yeah, it, yeah, I think I think this is wonderful. So I mean, then you will know is it something that you know, there are other questions I will be ask, asking down the line whether you want to see a different sea change or whether you still wish to be in the same industry etc. as well. Right, so okay. Let's head on to the next question to get to know you better. Mm -hmm. Okay, so are you currently working? Okay, A, working full time, B, working as a contractor, okay, C, not working but looking for a full time role, or D, not working, looking for a part time or a contractor role? Here we go. Mm hmm. Oh, oh, that's nice. That's nice. Wow, that this is faster. <laughs> this is way faster. Yes, indeed. Yeah, way, way faster. And uh, I can see the spread as well. So that's cool. At least we try to cover both ends of the spectrum. <laughs> yeah? yeah? Do we have any more last minute entry? If not, I would like to close the poll. Oh, there are, there are a few more. There are a few more. Okay. Okay, so three quarters of you have um, voted. I'm just ending the poll and sharing the results. There you go. Great. Great. So, so obviously, I see that some of you are just taking a break and looking for um, a more of a part-time or full-time role as well. And then, you know, what, what are the opportunities? There are a lot of opportunities. So I will share with you some of the examples, real-life examples, my own employees, what they did to um, engage me and ask me for a, a full time in a permanent role. Okay, so let's here we go. Okay, so I think a lot of you do ask me, Elaine, can I somehow uh, have that? Uh, oh, Elaine, there's that. Um, sorry, the, the the poll question is still currently on my screen. Is it still on everyone's screen as well? Uh, I've stopped share, so you can. There's a little cross wire oh. that you can close the screen. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? Sometimes we, um, yeah, I know, I know, yeah. It's okay, it's okay. I, okay. I miss that many times as well. That little cross wire. <laughs> <Woo -hoo. laughs> I, I thought my screen had a block in front, so um, apologies, everyone. Okay. So, so, what's the difference between a permanent hire and a contract hire? Really, I don't think there's that much of a difference. Okay, like Elaine yeah. said, with you, even though if you're a contract hire, you should be engaged and work and give serve like you are a permanent hire. Okay, so you know permanent hires they have permanent full time 40, 40 hours to forty four hours a week. You know their entitlements are CPF, leave entitlements, and your MOM requirements. You know it's safety requirements and all the regulations that we need to comply. There is a formal contract. Okay, there is a performance and performance incentive. Okay, there's an on site external training available. Okay, and then there's your roles and responsibilities. As a contract hire, you know, it's fixed hours per week. So whether you're a part timer, which is 20 hours per week, or a 40 hour week as well. Okay, you also have CPF, you also have leave entitlements. Mm. Okay, you're also guided and protected by MOM requirements as well, okay? The only difference I would really say is a formal contract, whether there is a fixed duration involved, okay? So whether it's a four month contract or a six month contract or even a longer 12 month contract, okay? When you are a contract hire, you still have the on-site training that's available for you. Okay, you might not have the external trainings like what Elaine was privileged to, like going overseas for trainings, mm. but 
on job training in yep. Singapore, there is definitely training available for you. Okay, and you know, and, and another perk of a contract hire, because you are doing a fixed hour per week, so for example, 20 hours per week, if you are, if you're required uh, to do overtime, there is additional hours or overtime pay for you as well, which is a perk of a contract hire versus a permanent hire. Right. Whereas, well, if you're a permanent hire, you might you, your roles and responsibility won't change, but you need to complete your 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 entire uh, workload within a certain time. But as a contract hire, if you do have extra, obviously the line manager or the bosses might say, "Hey, we need you to do an extra ten hours a week, okay, or five hours a day, okay, and you'll be compensated with an hour and a half." Okay, so there, these are the some that obviously the pros and cons of a contract hire as well. Yeah, I really like the part when you talk about, you know, MOM, Ministry of Manpower, you know, there are a lot of labour law changes in place. So we, and that accommodate, you know, geek uh gig, gig players or contract hires or freelancers i think the laws have tightened up in favor of that so you know yeah i think i think i saw it also um one of the participants um did mention in the questions before and uh -huh. that if you were a contract hire to replace maternity leave and they liked the contract hire so much that they fired the person who um uh, when I'm intending to leave, that's not true. We will never do that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think by MOM standards, there are some laws and regulations that we have to protect the, 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 the job's scope for the new new mums as well. It, yes. it, it won't be fair for them, for us to say the contract hire was so good that I don't need the, 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 the previous. <laughs> I, I, I think they are referring to non-legal, non-legal, non yeah, but I like your point because legally, uh, those who go on maternity leave are also protected, mm. right? I think in some countries, uh, they could even be protected, you know, um, for as long as like 12 months even, you know, regardless of what the corporate decision is or business decision is, it's actually protected to that extent. But I know Singapore... It's not, you know, to that degree of having that 12 months protection, but it's during the period of the maternity leave. Yes, correct, correct. I mean, it, so, so for example, like, you know, for regardless of your permanent hire or contract mm. hire, there are definitely MOM legal requirements that we will need to make sure to protect you or that's under our employment. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. So, so good news, good news. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. So, okay, so... Yep. So this is um, so this is like a hierarchy. I just want to show you. So for an early childhood industry, for example, like a preschool, okay, I will tell you, you know, um, the pink are my contract hires, okay, and then orange are my permanent hires. Okay, so as a hierarchy, you know, I will have a lot of teacher assistants, I will have aunties, I will have administrators, I will have enrichment teachers, they're my bulk of my teachers, and there I can, you know, experience and have my con more contract hires, but as you level up, okay, uh, in terms of being an English teacher, a Chinese teacher, or being a senior teacher, or a lead teacher, um, there are less contract staff because there's certain uh, levels of requirement or kind of um, background or work experience that you require to be at that level as well. So yeah, I, I think there's also liabilities, isn't it? You know, if you're a company representative and um, you, you cannot be a contract hire to do that, but you know, there are different versions of contracts of course, mm. available mm -hmm. as well. Yeah. For sure, for sure. I mean, that's why I thought we show you. So if you're coming in as a permanent staff or oh, permanent staff or a contract hire to see what the culture of the school is like or the culture of the company is like, it's a very good way to start your sea change of your mm -hmm. employment or you want to try your skill set in a different industry as well. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. Yeah. So <laughs> So obviously the pale scales will differ as well with experience and level of expertise that's involved as well. So for example, you're a um, uh, in music teacher, okay? That 
used to teach uh, at Aureus on a weekend, for example, and comes to my preschool and say, I want to be your music enrichment teacher mm. that works on Monday to Fridays. Obviously, the skill set that you can bring over, but there are different uh, management skills for teaching a group of children versus teaching one by one children as well. Okay, so there are different ways of uh, managing or changing your skill set as well. Okay. Okay. Okay, so some of the reasons for contract hire. Actually, I would say it's more than just maternity cover. Okay, yeah. there are definitely more than uh, maternity cover. Maternity cover tends to be four months. We might have someone in for six months. Uh, someone at the start and to, to cover, to take the handover, and then obviously another handover at the back as well. It could be someone's been working with the fam, fam, uh, family or the, uh, I, I call my company or my, in my channel preschool as a family, okay? Someone has been with the family for a long time and they want to take a sabbatical leave as well, okay? Whether it's for a family reason or whether it's a hospitalization leave, there are obviously for contract hires, okay? Um, there is obviously, you know, so there are sometimes, there are definitely, um, ways especially there are good times for contract hires now as you, you know that sometimes the economy with the COVID or the pandemic there are definitely bigger mnc's wishing to cut their costs once they cut their costs they need to do and hire someone to come in and do contract uh, service as well okay so another way to experience the companies that you want to try to get into is through contract hiring as well Okay. You know, it's, it's interesting that you mentioned this because I remembered, you know, um, and not sure if I should say this, but um, those of us who, who, who are budget owners, headcount owners, you know, working in a global firm, there's a certain time in the year where we want to protect the headcount. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, sometimes we bring in contract hires as a pipeline you know, where we need to convert certain headcount to real bodies on ground, you know, those are very, very useful resource as well. If you manage to find that kind of environment, good job. I do hear there's a lot of my um, colleagues or my um, friends who are in, you know, management roles, they do have that as well. So as I hear of, you know, certain industries, there are going to be certain waves of change coming up as well, especially yeah. in terms of employment, right? So that means that even though uh, they mm. might have the budget, but the headcount is no longer there. So when there's no headcount, right, that's a very good time for the contract hires to get in there and serve and advertise yourself really advertise yourself until then until they flow into the next financial year then they can put you as a permanent role as well yep okay um yep. actually one of my really you know one of the things i really love about contract hires and i you know i do tend to have a lot of them and i try to engage them now is seeing the right fit whether it's you know the, the right fit for the family or the company or you know, I, I find that it's sometimes it's the culture and the passion for mm -hmm. the role rather than the skill set because I fully believe sometimes a lot of skill set can be taught as well. So once you have the passion and once you have the energy and the right mindset, right? Like like Elaine said, it's not the entitled mindset, right? It's the, not the entitlement mindset, but the yeah. mindset, right? The serving mindset that you will be able to land your ideal job or your your ideal workplace. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And then the other one is, you know, I, I, the other one is the seasonal seasonal demand. So, for example, for example, like likes of, you know, a chocolate factory or or a department store, right? It's a seasonal mm. thing. So, you know, when it comes to Christmas, they need more part timers and they more, need more contractors to be on the floor to manage the influx of the demand that they may receive. And if that is kind of the type of role or industry you want to get into, definitely put your hands up and get there, get in there early as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I, I remembered, you know, being, you know, curiosity could actually work in your favor as well. You know, oh. just by being curious, just by asking questions about what the other teams are doing and, you know, don't land up in an awkward situation where you show up kind of unannounced, you know, look for occasions look for opportunities especially in the social front or or you know that there's an event that goes on 
you're right yeah um, if you if you just make yourself present at least when you have that conversation it's not awkward <laughs> <laughs> mm. and, and I think you know, and I think the other one is I, I love having contract hires. Is um, when I was in the corporate world, I used to love having contract hires for the new ideas or the fresh ideas. Oh. Right. So, so some of them, uh, even though we have a great team, but sometimes you just need some a new perspective to come in and see what you're doing so good and what what's the areas of improvement that you might want to generate for your team as well, which is a great you know, especially like what Elaine said, if you have great ideas to offer, share it, market it, advertise it. This is where you get the best leverage to turn your contract roles into a permanent role. Yes, this almost sounds like an advertisement jingle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I almost hear you break out into a jingle. <laughs> da -da -da. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, I, I, I think, oh, so, so, sorry, I think this is a... Um, what? Mm. So this is so this is um I'm just going to share an example with you, okay? So these are these these two are my current uh, permanent uh, employees, but they started off with me um as a contract hire, okay? So and then you know I and this you know for example Aisha Aisha she started off with me in 2019, so um she also wasn't working uh for about. Uh, up to two years after having her second kid uh, and then she was a customer service in I think was part of fitness first I think or one of the fitness uh, gyms okay. and she wanted to come back in and try something different so what we offered and what we agreed on was using the WSG career trial for three months because I wasn't too sure how she would serve as my center admin. I know that she had the customer service skills, but in terms of administration skills, uh, in terms of organization, time management, I wasn't too sure how she would offer. I so we said, yeah, we said we brought her in for three months um, and she didn't mind the pay as well. Okay, so she, it was a career trial. Um, career trial, I think it was a, uh, they only offered, I think, three. Uh, Seven dollars fifty an hour for a term for three months, right? And she came on board, and after that, I offered her a permanent role as well. And then I think with career trial, if you commit to full time, and if you serve for six months, and if you serve for twelve months, or serve for three months and six months, I think you get also an incentive uh, as well after that as well. So uh, from WSG, so which is yeah. really great. Mm. Win, win, win. <laughs> yeah, it is a win win as well. It is a win win. So I just, you know, I know that a lot of my audience today that they are still currently not working, looking for different roles. So if you do, you know, get to uh, on any, uh, don't, don't be shy. If you see any uh, employers that you want to go into or companies that you want to go into, you can always ask them, you know, can I do a career trial with you? Mm -hmm. Right? Or, if there's no offer of contract role, can I can I try with your company for a few months? Right? Things like Very this. Nice. It's also works both ways as well. Mm, huh? Yes, and 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 um, you never know, right? Just plan a thought. Just plan a thought. Yeah. No. <laughs> it's uh, definitely for sure. For sure. I mean, the more proactive you are, I think you know, um, as a business owner, um, sometimes. I, I we we have a lot of things on our plate, right? And especially even managing multiple centers, we have a lot of things on place. Sometimes, you, as a um, employee, you also need to be more proactive in seeking for your your roles and your mm. next job career opportunity as well. Yeah, yeah. yep. I like this good news story. <laughs> um, the other one is Leah. Leah, she's also she came on board with me uh, last year. So Leah, I interviewed her back in 2019. Um, I thought she was great, but then I also didn't have a role to offer her back then. And then uh, she was working for another institution in marketing, um, in, in in marketing or, or graphic design. But then because of uh, she said that the, the equipment and kind of occupation health safety, it wasn't very her anymore. Um, it was giving her backaches. So uh, as a health wise, she wanted a sea change. So when we had mm. 
career pathway initiated by uh, WSG. I also called her up um, a year later and I said, hey, Leah, um, what, what do you think? Do you, do you want to come on board and, and be a teacher assistant for me? And she took up the opportunity a month later um, and has been very happy with me. And, you know, and going forward, after her nine month program, you know, she is sure to be um, converted to a permanent role and I'm going to sponsor her uh, for her early childhood um, NIEC uh, diploma as well. So she will be able to step up and be an English teacher as well. Wow, that's yes. so cool. This yes. is the kind of employer everybody would like to work for. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Definitely. yeah. So, yeah, it's true. You know, whatever story you've got, you know, have a chat with June. You never know. All right. This is a lady that takes a, a chance on talent when she spots one. <laughs> yeah. I've seen I've seen her her team as well. They are so highly energized. Yeah. For so, sure. Yeah, so, and, and don't 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 get despair. Like I said, Leah came to me uh, in twenty nineteen asking if there is a job available. And you know, uh, given that you know what we have gone through with the pandemic, with the COVID, with the circuit breaker, you know, I still called her up after the circuit breaker and said, Leah, I might have a role available. Are you keen? Are you keen to join uh, the early childhood industry after a year? And she said, Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm ready to, to take a plunge. So yeah, I mean, it's 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 how um, initiative you have or proactive mm -hmm. you are to sharing that your energy and your passion to change with your future employer and that's how you will get the next role as well yeah so remember the three actions yeah so thanks so much june because three actions the third action is advertise advertise mm. yourself you know um yeah be be gung-ho and and tell them that you want that role of yeah. course yeah action two must come in place first make sure you contribute <laughs> Yeah, so, so so these are just great examples from my, my nice to share story. You know, other contract hires to permanent roles, you know, I think for uh, WSG, there's uh, HE United Traineeship, that's for the mm. new graduates as well, okay? Or I see there's a lot of um, uh, very experienced um, audience out there today that very. have you know, 15, 20 years of experience. There's also this thing called uh, professional conversion program. These are for uh, more managers and higher managers for to undergo the com skills conversion to move into the new occupation or the new sectors that they have. So definitely for sure, have a look at these PCP program and look at, tell these companies, do they even know about it? Or the HR managers, do they offer any PCP programs for you? You know, there are industries that are looking for um, uh, professionals that's moving yeah. into different industries as well. Big career changers. Yes. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. Big so career changers. A good segue to lead to my next poll question, right? For your next contract role, are you looking within the same industry you're in or a whole different industry? Okay. Question is A, same, in, same industry, same role. B, different industry, same role. Same industry, different role, or a different industry, different role? Yeah, I've, I've just launched the poll. Okay. All right. So I think, um, yep. Wow. Only you and I can, can see what the poll has been in real time. <laughs> so we are, we, are, we are reaching about 70% of you voting how about the rest what what about the other 30 um of course the other 30 includes us as well and we're not voting <laughs> okay uh, okay three quarters three quarters wow 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 i like this shall i close give them maybe 80 percent maybe a few more a, a few more okay okay yeah we are we're nearly hitting 80 percent so any more last minute choices all right, same industry, same role, staying put, or, you know, different industry, same role. You, you can still be offered a contract role regardless, even in the same industry and the same role. Mm. And, and then different industry, different role. Yep, I think I can close. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I've closed and I'm sharing the results on screen. So guys, you can see. Interesting, isn't it? 
like just this, this is exactly you know you share with me on the good feel good stories of Aisha or Leah you're looking at a different industry different role like this is what you're looking at as sea change right so you know just for sure tap on the different WSG programs like career trials or you know mid career pathways yeah this this will lead you to experiencing the different culture or the different industry or the type of role that you're looking for as well certainly yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay, so very nice. So, massive. yeah, I think so encouraging, right? Almost yeah. half of them, yeah, looking at the different industry, yeah. different role. Wow. Yeah, so 45%, mm. is, and then, you know, different industry, same role, 24. The, the, the B and C is equals to your D, but majority of us, or the majority of the audience, is looking for a different industry, different role, which is good, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. I can just imagine the kind of conversation they can have, you know, staying put where they are. You can always approach the same stakeholder and then offer them this, you know, option. You say, hey, you know, I think I'm open to working on a contract basis. Maybe that will help ease your budget, you know, and, and keep the business going or keep the project going so that it doesn't have to stall. Wow. You know, plan an idea, plan a thought. Correct. And then it's to, for you to experience the different mm. industry and the different uh, role itself, right? And then whether you like it or suit you or not, right? So I think in general, I think my audience is looking at you know, a sea change to fulfill a little bit more um, balance in their life or mm. contentment in their life. So you're looking completely different uh, roles and industries. Hence, it, it's definitely something that you can you know, ask your next employer as well. Okay, I, I want to share this with you, um, you know, for you to, uh, for your next contract interview, right? Some of the things that I look for in terms of uh, what my employees show me, okay? You know, the presentation, well, what's in the presentation? The presentation is yourself. Like, like as Elaine said, if you're LinkedIn profile, put a, put a photo in there, you know, put a self. I mean, we know that we don't like to judge um, the book by its cover, but sometimes the, the first image or the first uh, presentation does does hit us as well. Yeah, and the dress code, okay, in terms of personal hygiene, in terms of eye contact with your employer, okay, and then your props, like for, for example, where, oh, uh, what happened there? Ah, passion passionality and practice okay so the props okay and then where is it so if you're coming in as a music teacher or you're coming in so please have some props that you want to demonstrate or have some props that you you want to show okay and i understand that not everyone's very comfortable in speaking uh in, in front of people as well but make sure you speak clear and slower yeah and then also have some eye contact to respect your future employer or your co-workers as well yeah so that's something that's actually I really uh, pride on or anyone or everyone that I interview as well okay this this also happens on the same as if you do a zoom interview or a face-to-face -face interview as well okay um, so for example the other day I had a zoom interview I did ask the teacher to uh, do a story a short story that she would want to read for her children um, but I did tell her the audience will be her children right but then she kind of leaned forward um, didn't even face me was reading out the, 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 the story to me uh, to me it was a completely failure because she didn't even look at me she thought it was just a voice pronunciation but then we i also want her to see her how she would face her children in terms of her um voice in terms mm -hmm. of posture in terms of her guidance how to help what was it right so so sometimes again it goes back to you practice right you practice your interview you practice what your requested the employer has requested of you because sometimes over the zoom interview it's harder to engage in the person than real life so sometimes we might ask for a little bit more extra to see how you present and to see how you engage as a person or your personality type as well mm. yeah mm. yeah very nice yeah, yeah. 
And then the other one is, you know, your passion, your energy level, your engagement, and don't forget to smile as well, right? Some the, the employers like to see you um, smiling. The employers like you to see you, you've got the energy, you want the role, yeah? Regardless of, you know, I, I guess you wouldn't want to be at the interview if you didn't want to have a go at the role, right? So, you know, bring your 120% energy, 120% engagement, and lots of smiles for the employer. <laughs> Yes, okay. yes, yes. Un yeah. un unless, of course, the hiring manager is not the very smiley type. And uh, <laughs> but, but, but see break, break, break the person if that person isn't smiley, right? I think, I think, it, it, I think I always had uh, the, the in my former previous experience. You know, we we have had you know, my corporate role. We've had those very stern, angry buyers that it just looks like death is on on the back right but then if you keep on smiling and break through mm -hmm. they they will eventually right come to a mutual agreement of what you want as well because uh, we, we are na not naturally angry person i don't think yes don't think you've met anyone that's naturally angry I, have you elaine no 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 not naturally not naturally but environmentally you know, uh, groomed to be that way. Yeah. And, and, and I'll say groomed to be that way because a lot of how we are is actually a product of how we've been brought up. Yeah. You know, um, not, not, not to criticize any upbringing, you know, uh, principles and approach, but, but we are a product of the environment. You know, so so be very careful who we hang around with because <laughs> every five people that we always hang around with, we end up being like them, you know. So <laughs> anyway... Yeah. So, yeah. so for you, you have to bring yourself out of that circle of five to take yourself out, right? And yeah. then evolve yourself. So, so it's like, like I see 45% of you want to see change. It could be because your previous environment wasn't very nice. It could be very political. It could be toxic. You just take yourself out of that village mm -hmm. and take yourself into a new village that's more welcoming, that's more happier, and that you will enjoy a lot more better, right? Yeah. It's yeah. just all that. And you might be the only one as a start, but then you will attract your next uh, person that believes in you. Yeah. yeah. And then the other one is, you know, for your next interview, that regardless, you know, if you want the role, you have to be early. Be prepared with your certs, your documentations, and your references, whatever the employer have asked you to bring along as well. And it's better to be over-prepared than under-prepared as well. Yeah. So it looks like the same rigor right whether it is for a, a perm or contract role mm -hmm. and and yeah. i'll just throw in one more point about the refer referees please mm -hmm. make sure the referees are aware that they are your referees because <laughs> yeah. otherwise you get a surprise call <laughs> definitely i mean before we before any employers uh wish to call any referees we will definitely check with the interviewees these are your referees you don't they will know that can we call them I yeah. think probably it's a, just a courtesy to give you a heads up that we will be might be calling them anyway. Okay, cool. Yeah. Okay. Common mistakes that you are unaware of. Okay, so sometimes I think you know, um, at inter in interviewees they they come in for an interview and they are unprepared. So they sometimes we would ask the questions, co common questions that all employers will ask. Right, whether it's skills related in, um, questions or behavioral related questions, right? Mm. The, the best thing is to memorize a star answer, the situation, the task, the action, and the result as well, okay? And then just remember these points, okay? Because we often will ask, well, if you had a difficult customer, what happened? What did you do? How did you resolve it? Right. Mm. So what was the situation? What was the task? What was the action? What was the result? So we will want to see logically as a person, your train of thought as well, because we don't like someone who would probably either go around in circles or don't answer the question or hasn't really heard the question as well. Yeah. Okay. You don't have to memorize the script, but rather familiarize with your own experience and your own achievements and be concise and to the point as well. Mm. Okay. Don't be afraid to ask questions, okay? Your opportunity to show your interest in your employer is to determine, you know, you can always ask a question. You can always ask an employer a question because it's sure to show your, you are interested in working for them. Yeah. Okay? 
so you know just just you know just always prepare at least prepare one question i tell so any advice i would tell anyone if you're going for your next interview always prepare at least one question to show that you are interested in that company or that employer to what skill sets um or what skill sets will will my salary range be okay how do you manage teachers yeah things like this are some of the questions that you might want to think of Mm. Okay. Um, or if you don't think my skill set is suitable for this role, what other roles would you consider me for? Yeah, things like this for a contract hire. Okay. Again, body posture and features as well. I know sometimes, like when you're when you're interviewing, you get very shaky. I've had a lot of um, nervous employer employees or or interviewees who don't even really look at you in the eye or kind of um, or even they're on Zoom interviews at least flat like this or they kind of um holding a camera uh, holding the camera and then it's just shaky and i i, I literally oh, couldn't, yes. couldn't, couldn't yes. focus and that was very bad it's just very bad experience so again if you're going to go for any interview make sure you place yourself in a quiet room a steady camera or steady laptop in front of you you know dress the part you can even just halfway because they won't see you the bottom half just put a nice shirt on nice shirt <laughs> on um and that that's that's perfectly fine yeah you, you know that. june you, when you said you know <laughs> just put on a nice upper half and don't bother about the bottom half be very careful that you don't stand up <laughs> yeah, yes, yes yes hopefully you don't stand up <laughs> just <laughs> full suit <laughs> to be safe yeah okay okay i mean yes yes but for, for for the for the ones that yes but again yeah full suit to be safe <laughs> to be safe. <laughs> to be safe. To be safe. To be safe. Okay. And then, yeah, and then you know, and then please again, um, eye contact as well. Even though you're on the screen, it's nice to mm. see you're engaging with your future employer and mm -hmm. the you were as well. Okay. Uh, tips for today's COVID job seekers. Again, SG United jobs contract roles. Okay, don't be afraid uh, to ask employers if they're suitable for the role or as SG United jobs be applicable to me as well. Okay, uh, can we tap on the SG United scheme to allow to try the forward position? Okay, online interviews. Okay, sit by your laptop or your phone on a table. Don't walk around. Yeah, don't don't walk around and shake your shake your hand phone around or just just be like this, which is a very disruptive for the uh, the interviewer as well. Okay, uh, again, shoulder to head frame. Okay, please check your triangle pose as well. <laughs> yes, okay. I remember that one. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. And make sure your earphones and mic are working during the interview from home as well. And still dress for the job, like Elaine said, full suit. It just makes it easier. Just in case you know something happened that you have to go get get up to reach for a book or reach for a prop that the employer or interviewers to see that the bottom half is not matching to the top half. Okay. So, <laughs> Let's go for the full, 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 full job suit, uh, and speak clearly and accurately, and your energy and your smile as well. Okay? Yeah, absolutely. And you know, I just want to leave today uh, with you. Just you know, there, there's all like like my dad says, or I'm sure you've heard it from many people. There's obviously a lot of opportunities around the corner. Okay, it's success is always right around the corner. Most people give up right before they can turn the corner as well. Okay, so just don't give up and there was always opportunities. It just depends on which bus you decide to take and get on as well. Okay? Yeah, for sure. Wow, this is cool. Okay, so don't give up and um, you guys will be fine. Yeah, there's a <laughs> job for, for, for you as well. Okay? okay. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Um, no worries. I like I like you know the 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 part that you know have have the courage to actually just state what you want and uh you know did the incumbent whom you offered the permanent role uh had a suspicion that 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 might come her way that's that's my like you know just just quick question there uh, I think so I, I think okay so for my um uh permanent who was my contract role previously yeah yeah she does so i would ask not just from she doesn't just uh help me in terms of my admin but there's also my principal and i also i will ask my other staff like teachers how, what do you think of aisha 
Okay, what how is Leah going? Right? Um, right. Do you think she will be value added to the mind chat, the ITC, right? Or do you, do you think she'll be value added? So obviously, it's just not because of me. Uh, like I said, you know, why do we hire contract hire? Sometimes we want to see whether they're a culture fit as well, or whether they are a kind of um, they just don't work, don't take the contract roles as a contract. It's a nine to five job, and then they do put in the extra effort. These are the ones that we want to um, keep, and then you know we will know which ones are the ones that who actually put in the effort and also the the energy or the passion into it as well. Sometimes, like like you said, you you. The audience, 45% of them are looking for a completely different industry, completely different roles. It, mm -hmm. it maybe it is something that you guys want to try um, to, to tap on the different energies of the different companies that you're looking for as well. Yeah. And and don't lose heart because as I mentioned here, you know, um, you've got to prepare to adapt and think, you know, as a contract hire and, and never close off any possibilities. And when you keep adding value, people will observe you just as what June did, you know, when she was looking at Aisha, when she's looking at her, you know, her team. And then I'm sure all business owners and all hiring managers are always keen to build a pipeline of talent, you know, because talent move, right? Mm -hmm. So, so you know, the, the bit about going up and, and saying, oh, did you know there's this, you know, professional conversion program or something like that. So re remember all that, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, I just want to reiterate for those people who just joined, you know, um, add value and then start advertising yourself. Um, of course, advertise yourself to people who, who acknowledge the good work that you have done as well. Cool. Very, very nice. Um, that was a question from Regini about, you know, if you have been a contract hire and then how can you then snap out of that contract hire branding? You know, I think that there are several ways that you can do that. I just want to just do a quick answer to her because, you know, as a contract hire, um, usually you are being paid unit rate. And when the unit rate increases because of the requirements of the project, uh, usually it will hurt the pocket, you know, of the employer. Plus, what you need to do is number two, add value, keep adding value. So when they see that if I were, to, it makes more sense to convert you to a permanent hire because that's exactly what happened to me. All right. So so when when they say, oh, I rather hire you as a full time consultant than uh you know associate because we're paying you a lot more as an associate. So, you know, I, I had other priorities at that time, but that is one angle that you can maybe go on. Okay, just a quick one there. Um, yeah, a any thoughts there, June? Um, you know, for anyone. I think you can always, obviously, um, say, if, you know, go, going from the contract hire to the permanent role, you can obviously express it to your line manager um, who has been, you know, who you're under and just tell them, you know, I, I really do enjoy it. Just speak very frankly and honest with them. You know, I really do enjoy working for you and I enjoy the culture of the team mm. and the teammates, right? And, you know, if there is opportunity, I would love to be made a permanent role. And that's, you know, and, and I'm sure that, you know, the, the line manager will be very kind of, um, glad that you are being frank with them because one thing that line managers or even bosses love is visibility or that you are able to be frank with them that you are wishing to be converted yeah yeah that's good that's good i hope uh with june's answer probably she has already answered elaine's question on how to advertise how to ask for a role uh just go up there and say oh this role is very interesting i'm so keen but um i i have a quick hack for every one of you as well if you have been a contract hire for a certain employer for quite a period of time my suggestion is show up every day when I mean show up, it, it means participate in their events. You become a regular face. I remember one of the uh, permanent hire colleagues said, you mean your your associate? Oh, I, I thought you're one of us, you know. If you have someone say that to you like that, you're pretty much like them already. And, and then it's so easy for the hiring manager to consider you as part of their B list, backup list. Something to chew on. <laughs> Wouldn't it be great, right? 
think, but I think, but I think, you know, I think it's just that you have to be forthcoming with your line manager. I mean, you know, if you do enjoy the company and if you do enjoy the role that you're being put on in the contract role, well, just be very frank and honest. There's, there's nothing that we appreciate more than you being transparent and then you being actually honest of what you can offer as well. I think that's something that, you know, I appreciate as of all my teammates of being transparency. The, one of the things is we don't want to, we don't want hiccups or we don't want to hit any roadblocks, right? Being transparent and being honest, I think it's something that they will even trust you more and then you will even get a higher promotion in the future as well. I mean, that's for me, right? As a, as a, a line manager as a um, a business owner, this is what I appreciate on my right hand and left hand <laughs> team as well. Mm. Yeah, I think Elaine got a question showing up. Uh, if we work from home, how do we show up? So I think all the more you have the greatest chance of all, which is show up online, turn on your camera. I can tell you 9 out of 10 people do not or maybe 10 out of 10 people don't turn on their camera. And so, and so this is the best way to show your presence. Oh, it, it's going to be so great. <laughs> okay, cool. And, and so thank you, June, for sharing so much tips, so many tips as well.